Hello, welcome to my Let's Play of Orwell. This is an episodic game that just released on Steam. Views are pretty good. You basically play as a information specialist who watches over all of the information flowing between everyone. And you get to accuse people of certain crimes. I don't know much more than that. Let's check it out. Please create a profile. All right, empty profile. Do I have to name it? Nope. Congratulations, you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Step one, select a profile picture. All right, go with the old dude. Name, Karate, Snoopy. Into a space? Yep, there we go. You are one of 6,308 applicants. I wonder if that's people that actually bought the game or if that's just a random number. Now you may enter your email address. Nah. Be diligent. Your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I'm aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of the citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my behalf. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdictions of the nation. Okay. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Logging in. Freedom Plaza. There's a dude running. Arrest him. What is he thinking? Got some facial recognition going on. Am I supposed to be doing anything? I think it's still a cutscene. There's somebody suspicious reading a book. A person walking. Oh, police record. Arrest her. She's got a police record. Keep her in jail. There's people making out illegally. They could be exchanging information with their tongues. Oh no, they blew up. I guess they weren't bad guys. Maybe they could have been bad guys. Suicide bombers. Never know. Let's rewind the tapes and find out who did it. Episode 1 The clocks were striking 13. You're online. Good. Call me S si Symes. Why do they always put these crazy names in these games? I can barely pronounce them. You, you will be our advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. The first and last? How come we're doing it? Why don't other people also like join in the line of ter terrorism? Seems like we should be kind of the beginning and then somebody else should like kind of be the last line. For this test phase, you are one of the first peoples to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants across the globe. Now, normally congratulations, congratulations would be in order. But as you can see from the footage, there has been an, an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader for, tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to watch online websites and documents for easy access. Um, bookmark, yeah. And to highlight when there's a new information to be investigated. First, I want I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. All right. National Beholder. Headlines. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you once you're done. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. It's a good day to fall in love. 
Can I click on these? Goofy ads. Explosion destroys the Free Memorial in button. Three killed. Authorities receive strange letter. Read more. Boston, at approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated in Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed, and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police with police confirming that the explosive device was a, was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that hours earlier an anonymous letter containing the f- fir- th- first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gr- Grid- Grindanken Sind Fry, The Thoughts Are Free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. All right. Negotiations in Trifilth failed. Violent violent riots in Trifilth. Blame encourages renewal. I'm not going to bother reading all this crap. Movie shooting completed. Shooting the Grey Saga, Grey Shadow Saga, lasted four years, lasting four years, finalized. Third part of the saga hit the movie theaters in Valentine, next Valentine's Day. All right. Study with the future. Okay, I guess we saw all the headlines. Unknown person. The profiler holds all the known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCT footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at at the arrest record. Oh, it's right here arrest record. The highlighted term, highlighted elements in the records are the pieces of data that were are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal the relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into the profile to upload them to our servers. Aye aye, Captain. How do we know she's actually the suspect? She's just a person with a a police record. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify the person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it clear, can be clearly assigned to a target person. Add the reasons for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. Assault on a police officer. Let's upload that. Good. With the data you've extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Is this woman a terrorist? The woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. It's an occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as a result of part of a demonstration. 
the exact same location as the assault. She turns up right there before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more back information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. All right, the young woman is accused of having hit the head, victim's head with a large brick. Part of a demonstration against the new, newest amendments to the government's model project, the safety bill. Who is an artist by profession. Oh yes, the one, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Great, you found another document. I did. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about, Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will draw our conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away in incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. All right. Weird. Somebody's watching me, but he can't see what I'm looking at. Deny the Gexies completely and ask her fans to show us their support. Okay, let's check out the new document Cassandra's port. Portfolio. Hi, I'm Cassie A. Colorful inhabitant of Wonderland, right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally, finally found the courage to quit my dull day job and focus on my art career. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job was. I put my stuff on the portfolio. Below you can find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse with them by clicking on the arrows left and right. Side of the pictures. See something you like? Of course you do. Because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account. Good, you found a chat handle. This will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they're started. All right. We're going to listen in on her. That beauty is me. I was never sure about the title, though. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter. Victim of traditional in pink. What do you think? I wonder if that matters. Daughter of Entrepreneurs. Christmas present for my darling. This was meant to be a private piece, but oh well. I have a hard time keeping it to myself. Yeah, I don't think this one's interesting, so I'm not going to bother uploading that. listener chat session hey you hey Jossie did you blow up the memorial yes I did I can't seem to find my credit card I assume you took it right uh, you got me Mr. Sherlock I'm in the middle of buying all the bond I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. She's got a credit card. Well, lucky for you, I don't mind you, mind you going on a splurge as long as you can pick up some wine for dinner. She stole a credit card from an unknown person. If you're able to find out who she's talking about, we should lock it for the owner. Wine. 
What does jo- Jose F. Langley, my fierce, fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Joseph Langley. That's who it is. Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the, track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really. No need to thank me, Miss Langley. You know have a profile for the related person that can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear on targeted persons and can only be extracted with a rope. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of text in this game. Yes, actually, this isn't exactly going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of one. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from the big farmer, a.k.a. my parents, then. Daughter of pharmaceutical people. Watergate Pharma Entrepreneurs. Does that ring a bell? Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of that patient of yours, when are you going to tell us about them? Uh, yeah, maybe. Got me now. Text you later. Orwell in informs me you just encountered a conflicted data chunks. Whatever the context of the two data chunks. Whatever the whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with each other, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing an containing a conflict, the other becomes becomes immediately invalid. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. Though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. The case that has been at the center of the media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra was acquitted of the alleged assault against the police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. Conflict with another data chunk. Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above this dude... Welcome to this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. No point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the family of the accused might have been influenced might have influenced the outcome of in her favor parents resolved to illegal resolved to illegal means to close the target person's criminal case Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. That's what I figured. A pity that the CCTV did not actually feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches our lives with industry-leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well-being. Below, you'll find a small collection of our most popular products. Throat cough, dr cough drops that uh, fight against the in irritation of throat based on natural herbs. Activating pills against migraines and storing headaches. Medication that increases concentration and cerebral performance. <clears throat> Medication for the alleviation of arthritic joint pain. Antidepressant. All-around pain killer. 
Soothing pills for a good night's rest against sleeping problems. Alright. That's pretty... Is there like more on this website somewhere? It's got a star, so I think there's probably more. Do I have to click on this stuff? Jobs. We're looking to hire... The Chief Operating Officer. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression, from yeah, progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research from research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine, and at the same time is the largest medicine exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals Inc. is Bruno. Bruno Watergate. The grandson of the founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of Central Pharmacy Congress and head of the charity Children of Parges. Dr. Alice Watergate, co partner with her husband Bruno, holds a PhD. She's the junior CEO. Appointed to CEO as a pharmaceutical company, probably one, by one of her parents. And being an artist and a junior CEO, or COO, sounds quite odd. She also mentions that she had a, she quit a dull day job, didn't she? Alice and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business at Cumin and Unique Flair will write the next chapter chapter of our 85 years of strong legacy. <coughs> oh, now I see. Keeping a family affair. <coughs> Documents that you've already viewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article you may want to take a look at and see if there's any new information available. We are urgently looking for a chief operating officer to replace the retired, formally appointed predecessor. Or maybe I was wrong. Nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This, this, is, this is probably what she meant by quitting her job. Good. Currently, I'm thinking our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in, in between those two lives of hers. What maybe what caused her radical shift? She radicalized. Headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. Nothing there. Bomb obliterates free memorial and kills three. I already read this one. Negotiations failed. Still got a star next to this one, so something's going on. Crime rate continues to drop. Da, da, da. I don't see any. Oh, there's a safety bill. Yeah, because she was protesting the safety bill. The safety bill is a collection of safety centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal of protecting the freedom of the nation's citizens. Stricter regulations concerning immigration and general travel into or tran transiting through the nation. Terrorist incidents of 2008. Terrible consequences to fix our previous mistakes. Sent our highly reliable soldiers back to safeguard the region. After the Parge's peacekeeping mission, Signed in 2011, our troops were sent off to the neighboring country to perform tasks including <coughs> distribution of aid, rebuilding infrastructure, upholding law, and training military. Due to the recent stabilization in the Parjas, we have been able to reduce the number of stationed forces while leaving 
the overall goals of the peacekeeping mission intact. All right. Making progress. Status, you're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. More Alice in Wonderland stuff. It was like Facebook, I guess. New portrait. <laughs> Birthday. Interests. Art, music, activism. What a lineup. Very suspicious that people like that. People that like art, music, and activism are very suspicious, right? Let's see. Woohoo. Day and freedom. Far away from the shackles of the Watergate Pharma. What? Who's going to pay you? Pay for your stuff now. Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Listen, Jake, I'm not my daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money. More than enough to pay all my bills. Don't worry about me. Despise puppets of the state. You have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes from you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck you, all of you government lackeys. Most painfully, Cassandra. Oh, well, she really doesn't like the government. Well, well, Miss Watergate. We aren't too fond of you either. We're blowing up people. Sweetie, what, th what is the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages, but you gotta, you gotta get out from time to time. You'll feel much better. Mary, just shut the f your freaking mouth, okay? I'm not in the mood to put up your stupid act. I told you again and again. I cannot deal with this right now. Let's track her friend Mary. She seems awfully suspicious. How sad. Cassandra's in a relationship with Joseph Langley. Weather lawyer. Hmm. This may be noteworthy. 64 likes. Let's track all the people that liked it. <laughs> The beholder actually wrote about me freaking redeem about wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this shit. But surprise, surprise, they had they they had to mention the speculations over my parents buying me out. Makes the click outs go boom, doesn't it? At least you are redeemed now. Wanna blow Steven together for a late night shopping tour? Not today, I have a date this evening. Ooh, lucky, who's the lucky one? Case closed. Case got closed. Changed her. That concert was amazing. I had to give my little hair makeover without further ado. Do you like it? What happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me before? We are going to a stylist. Henceforth, Cassandra shall be known to the world as Catharsis. She's got an alias. Super suspicious. You know, people on the web, so many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match the data chunks to target persons wherever they're using them. That's the spirit, kiddo. Now we'd like to invite you to our little activist group if you want to join us. Would be nice to have you for the protest on the Freedom Plaza. Let's track this Harrison O'Donnell guy. He seems super suspicious. An activist group. Anything more specific? Nope. Well, I don't think this is really a conflict. This is just like... Like, she was previously, like, friends with this person, and, like, she doesn't like her anymore. Broken friendship, yep. Very sad. She used to be so normal. The party... Something in here that I need to click on. People. Pro 
projects. Participate. What do you want from me? Why are there stars? chat session hey did you hear about the free the freedom plaza bombing yeah I just did it yeah don't remind me you know I have a history of that place already fucking me up just enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day too many bad memories now I have now, and now I was there just moments before this happened. Oh, I never should have gone to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not me. Catches the bus. Uh, not this person. Stop scrolling. Catch the bus. Upload that to the system. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be a coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. She totally did it. She's a radical. Stop scrolling. I'm reading. You don't need... Stop scrolling. It refuses to let me read. You're not a terrorist. I'll just read it later. You're not... Uh, not a terrorist, I'm pretty sure. Oh, damn it, what? Your car's not working here. I can't buy anything. You gone bankrupt or something? Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on, on there. Guess we'll have to go without wine, then. Uh, here's the thing. I got an important, uh, important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule, and I can't postpone it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm very sorry, sorry darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment, number one. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment fucking everywhere. How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please just calm down. Have you taken your crazy drugs? Yes, damn it. What is M Marathon? Can you look that up for me, please? Sure. Is it the only thing that matters to you that I'm fucking pill on happy pills all day? Darling, please. There's nothing, something like that, and you know it. So keep your mouth shut whenever you, whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh, no, I totally understand. Don't you, don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not that not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm, in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. I should not have gone to that protest, darling. You don't need to justify yourself to me, anybody, especially not me. I was so hop happy when Goldfells accepted me in, in, accepted me into, I thought, into thought, which is, like, I guess, a, a group. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. Who is Goldfells? We should find something Find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest, you would never have been wrongfully in, in, indicted. And then we would never would have met. Yeah, and I would not be have been called a terrorist in the papers. You're not a terrorist. Aren't I? You sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, damn it. What? Card's not working. All right, we read the rest. Look up what this drug does. Antidepressant. Huh, I wonder if her adverse attitude towards the the assault is actually worth anything then. 
Perhaps emotions were high if she's reliant on this medication. I will forward that to law enforcement. Still got information here that I don't really have a use for yet. <clears throat> the thought. The thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. Welcome to the thought blog, the an entry. Everything's private. Freedom is unfree. Published by It's cams. Cams everywhere. Even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me or is it more than a little bit, I don't know, ironic? You probably know me either as that blue-haired punk bitch, stupid con, or anti-government terrorist. These are the names I've been called during the criminal investigation against me. It was just because of the middle of chaos someone believed to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never would occur to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We've always been against violence. That is in conflict with something else. One would assume that in the ages where cams are everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved or not, but it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out if the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all, which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is intimidation only. You keep calm, quiet, and careful when there are cameras around, or you fear there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all the web. And now it's our real lives too. We have been brought to the Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. We were told to lavish, we were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I, and I know what you're thinking now. This is damn ugly. What is it that, what is that donut even? Let the let freedom ring. But the, but the statement behind this ridiculously enormous, enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the capital, there is a symbol of freedom. Comprehensible sim symbolism for everyone, isn't it? With cameras there, the plaza, it is now the plaza of unfreedom, if anything at all. And this guy predicted it. Five articles. I think this guy's the guy that sent the German folk song, right? He sent the crazy letter. All right, well, that's a good stopping point for the episode. See you next time on Orwell.